acids and alkalis. The plant on which flowers appear let us do this activity. Keep a small amount of lemon juice, a white paper, two or three hibiscus flowers and a small piece of cloth ready. Draw the picture of a plant on the white paper. Draw flower petals with lemon juice on the plant. Draw them with a stick dipped in lemon juice. When it gets dried, the plant without flowers can only be seen. Rub hibiscus flowers thoroughly on a piece of cloth. Now the magic can be started. Fix the white paper with the picture on a board. Rub the portion of flowers in the picture gently with the cloth already rubbed with hibiscus flowers. Did you see flowers appearing in the picture? Remember to use a magic wand while performing the magic show. What could be the reason for the appearance of red flowers on the plant? Hibiscus paper rub thoroughly a hibiscus flower on both sides of a piece of white paper. Remove all traces of flowers sticking on it after it is dried. Using scissors, cut the paper into long and narrow strips. This can be called hibiscus paper. Conduct an experiment with hibiscus paper on buttermilk, water, coconut oil, vinegar, soap solution, sugar solution, salt solution, tamarind water and milk. Repeat the above experiments, using blue litmus paper, instead of hibiscus paper. Which are the liquids that turn the hibiscus paper red? Did you notice that the liquids that turn hibiscus flower paper red generally have a sour taste? Litmus paper in laboratories. Litmus paper is commonly used instead of hibiscus paper. They are available in red and blue colors. Acid. Lemon juice, buttermilk, tamarind, vinegar etc. contain certain acids. Litmus paper is red in acid. All acids have sour taste. Acids present in food substances are weak. Hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, etc. which are used in the laboratory are strong acids. Let's look at some of the acids contained in certain food substances of daily use. Food substance. Acid present. Buttermilk lactic acid. Vinegar acetic acid. Tamarind tartaric acid. Lemon citric acid. Apple malic acid. While handling chemicals, do not taste. Do not touch. Do not smell. Do not let it fall on the body. Use a dropper while transferring acid from bottle. While diluting an acid, pour small quantities of acid slowly into water taken in a beaker, and stir well. Use a holder to hold a test tube. Let's make a hydrogen balloon. Balloon. Dilute acid. Zinc. When dilute hydrochloric acid reacts with zinc, hydrogen is produced. Hydrogen is inflammable. Hydrogen gas evolves from the test tube and burns with a low noise when lighted. Henry Cavendish 1731 to 1810. It was discovered as early as in the 16th century that an inflammable gas is produced when some metals react with acids. This gas was first identified by the British scientist, Henry Cavendish. It was a was it who named this gas as hydrogen. The meaning of the word hydrogen is water producing. We use many substances of acidic nature at home. Haven't you learned that acids react with metals? Therefore, metal containers are not used to store food substances containing tamarind, buttermilk, vinegar and lemon juice. Some of the substances produced by the reaction of metal with acid can cause health problems. Carbonate Egg shell, chalk and marble contain calcium carbonate. When acids react with carbonates, carbon dioxide is produced. Carbon dioxide is a gas which extinguishes fire. We can also make a fire extinguisher. Material required. Vinegar, baking soda, plastic bottle, plastic tube and candle. Fix a tube airtight in the cap of a plastic bottle. Fill vinegar up to half of the bottle. Pack some baking soda in a paper and suspend it from the tube at the opening of the bottle, above the level of vinegar. Take care that the packet of baking soda does not fall into vinegar. Close the bottle properly. 
Shake the bottle thoroughly and allow baking soda to fall into the vinegar. Direct the gas coming from the bottle toward the lighted candle. What do you see? You know that vinegar is acetic acid. Baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. When they react carbon dioxide is formed. The fire extinguisher works on this principle. Include the experiment notes in your science diary. Magic of the egg. Place an egg in a beaker. Fill the beaker full with vinegar. The egg rises to the surface and then sinks. This action keeps on repeating. Carbonate in the egg shell reacts with acid and carbon dioxide is formed. The egg ascends because carbon dioxide adheres in the form of bubbles to the surface of the egg. When the egg reaches the surface, carbon dioxide escapes and the egg descends. When ants bite when ants bite, a small amount of formic acid enters our body. This is why it pains. Red hibiscus paper We have already prepared the hibiscus flower paper. Note that they are all blue in color. We need papers in red color too. What do we do? Dip the hibiscus papers in any acidic solution and then dry them. Haven't we got red papers now? Now let us do some experiments using red hibiscus papers and red litmus papers. You can dip red hibiscus paper and red litmus paper in water, buttermilk, vinegar, soap solution, lime water, Salt solution, sugar solution, milk and clear ash suspension, and observe what happens. Alkali. Substances like lime water calcium hydroxide which turn red litmus blue are called alkali. They have a bitter taste and are slimy. Calcium hydroxide lime water sodium hydroxide solution caustic soda potassium hydroxide solution caustic potash ammonium hydroxide solution liquor ammonia dissolved in water. Indicators Indicators are substances that help us to distinguish between acids and alkalis through color change. Parts of plants like turmeric, hibiscus, beetroot etc. can be used as indicators. Litmus paper is an indicator used in the laboratory. Substance used color in acid color in alkali blue litmus paper dot red dot blue chili powder pale red dot pale red red litmus paper red blue hibiscus paper blue red blue phenolphthalein colorless pink white paper white white carbon powder black black methyl orange pale pink pale yellow Liquid blue, 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 turmeric, yellow, red. Universal indicator. Universal indicator is a mixture of different indicators. Depending on the strength of the acidic or the alkaline nature of solution, universal indicator gives different colors. These colors can be compared with the color chart affixed outside the bottle. When acid and alkali mix together. What happens when dilute solutions of hydrochloric acid and caustic soda are mixed together? A certain procedure is followed for doing such experiments in the laboratory. Take dilute hydrochloric acid in a burette. Add 20 ml caustic soda solution into a conical flask using a pipette. Add 2 drops of phenolphthalein into the flask and stir well. Place the conical flask below the stopcock of the burette. Open the stopcock slowly and add the acid, drop by drop into the conical flask while swirling it continuously. Close the stopcock when the color of alkali in the conical flask just disappears. 
Examine whether the colorless solution in the conical flask is acidic or alkaline, using both red and blue litmus papers. Neutralization when definite amounts of acid and alkali are mixed, their acidic and alkaline natures are lost and salt and water are formed. This is called neutralization. Acid plus alkali equals salt plus water. When acid and alkali combine together, both of them lose their properties. Soil in Kerala is generally acidic in nature. Do you understand now why lime, which is alkaline, is added to soil? pH value pH paper is used to examine whether a substance is acidic or alkaline. If pH value is 7, it indicates a neutral substance. It means the substance is neither acidic nor alkaline. The pH value of pure water is 7. When pH value is greater than 7, the substance is alkaline and when it is less than 7, it is acidic. A color chart marked with pH values is available along with a pH paper. The color change produced when a pH paper is dipped in a solution is compared with the color chart to find whether the solution is acidic or alkaline in nature. Acidity acid is produced in the stomach to support the digestion of food. At times, when food is not taken properly or when enough water is not consumed and unhealthy food habits are followed, the amount of acid increases in the stomach. This is called acidity. Doctors prescribe medicines containing alkali to overcome this. Let us find the pH of soil. Take a glass and fill it half with soil. Pour water till the soil is immersed completely and stir well. Tilt the glass and collect the oozing water. When the water clears, dip the pH paper into it. Compare the color change of the pH paper with the color chart and find the pH of the soil. You can find the instances when acids and alkalis are used in daily life. Acid. Use. Vinegar, pickles, and other food substances. Citric acid. Food preservation and in soft drinks, nitric acid and sulfuric acid paints, manufacture of chemical fertilizers, dyes, etc. Sulfuric acid, automobile battery, tannic acid, production of ink and leather, alkali, manufacture of soap, manufacture of detergents and ceramic materials. Industrial purposes. Purification of water. Let us make soap materials required. Sodium hydroxide caustic soda 180 grams, coconut oil, 1 kilogram, water negative 350 milliliters, sodium silicate, 100 grams, stone powder talcum powder 100 grams. Procedure Dissolve caustic soda in water taken in a steel vessel. Heat is liberated when caustic soda dissolves in water. It takes 3 to 4 hours for the solution to get cooled. When the solution cools, 
pour it slowly into coconut oil taken in a plastic or steel vessel and stir it. Add stone powder and sodium silicate. This is to increase the hardness and quantity of soap. Stir well till the mixture solidifies. Perfumes and dyes may be added for fragrance and attractive color. Pour the above mixture into molds. In 3 to 4 days, the mixture becomes soap. The soap taken from molds should be used only after 2 weeks.